Okay, this is what the Lorex um, app looks like when you start it up. You get little thumbnails of your your um, video cameras, <clears throat> just old ones though, and you could play them. This is on a Samsung Android device right now. You could see that it's real time and it's showing the actual um, cameras, and then when you go to another camera, it automatically brings it up. As you can see and you could go to timeline here and you could play back older times and um, the problem is when you get an event in the Android it doesn't play back properly see how it says uh oh something went wrong this is in the Android for some reason, when an event occurs, it doesn't play back. Now, iOS, it plays back fine. Also, on the computer, it plays back fine. But see, right after the event, it starts letting you play back again. It w on the Android, it won't let you play an event that was captured. See, something went wrong. Now, when you get the alerts in your email... Or if you get an alert from the device, you can set up alerts. It will play it back. So the alerts themselves will play back, but when you want to go for the timeline on an Android device, the alerts do not play back properly. See what I mean? But if you go ahead a few seconds, it will play back. And sometimes if you go over in the beginning of it, it will play back and then it will run through it, but you have to wait seconds for it to run through. But um, Android devices with the Lorex camera system, there seems to be a buggy software. Um, that's what I wanted to let you know, that there is a little bit of a bug in the software playback during alert times. I'll show you the um, phone version. Okay, this is the iPhone version of the app. You can play the video just as well on the iPhone. Um, actually better. I think the iPhone is the way to go. Should be able to go back and forth between the two. There we go. So it, it does play back live video, no problem. Live video mode. Then you go to timeline on this one. And let's say you want to go to an event that happened. Let's say you could see the events. And there's an event right there. And you could see the iPhone actually plays the event through on the timeline. On the Android, look at that. You could see a little animal going by. That was pretty cool. Let's see what kind of animal that was. Okay, so it was an armadillo that was walking around out there, and then right after that, a cat showed up. I mean, it was not even a minute later, and the cat was there checking out the armadillo, so that was pretty cool. This is pretty hard to record, so I'm going to try. Um, this is basically when you click on one of the cameras, you could go to a timeline and this is the timeline here it's showing early this morning and there's some small lines on here I don't know how close you can see that if you could even see that right now but when you pinch it the lines get bigger see how la large it got so then you could focus in on an event and then it'll start playing that event like there was a cat there and there was an armadillo there um, It takes a few seconds to figure out where where the event occurred because this records I have it set to record 10 seconds before an event so it gets a little bit of um, recording prior to the event actually happening um, I think the cat shows up here really soon there's the cat and then you could record this to your phone or you could record from the uh, um, 
DVR, I mean, or from the um, website, you could do the same thing. But um, that's how you focus in on events. You stretch this with your fingers, and you could see the actual events that occur. And all, you could see the whole day. You could go back a couple of days, like yesterday or the day before, depending on how much storage you got and how good your resolution is when you're recording. I record up to like like eight or nine days and I have information from that far back. But you can see there's an event there. Now this works really well on the iPhone, the Android, when you get to these yellow events it kinda doesn't want to play them. Uh, let me see if I can get an Android thing going. Playback fails on the Android where the Apple it plays back no problem so they're not putting too much effort in I mean the um, Android app see it will play back sooner or later but you gotta really play around with it um, the closer to an event the harder it is for it to play back for some reason but the Apple device works well every time there is an event right there so it did you just mess around with this long enough and it will play it back there's your event too. So it's playing back up there. Let's see if we can get the cat in here or whoever else is hanging out. There's the cat. So it will play back on the Android, but it is a lot more finicky and you have to mess around with it. You have to keep messing around with this till it finally decides to play back. Where well, the Apple plays back instantaneously. But that's only one way to get the videos. You have multiple ways to get videos on this system.